The cybersecurity landscape continues to be one characterized by a series of point tools de designed to do a very specific job, often pretty well. But the mosaic of tooling has grown over the years, causing complexity and driving up costs and increasing exposures. So the game of whack-a-mole continues. Moreover, the way organizations approach security is changing quite dramatically. The cloud, while offering so many advantages, has also created new complexities. The shared responsibility model redefines what the cloud provider secures, for example, the S3 bucket, and what the customer is responsible for, e.g. properly configuring the bucket. You know, this is all well and good, but because virtually no organization of any size can go all in on a single cloud, that shared responsibility model now spans multiple clouds and with different protocols. Now that of course includes on-prem and edge deployments, making things even more complex. Moreover, the DevOps team is being asked to be the point of execution to implement many aspects of an organization's security strategy. This extends to securing the runtime, the platform, and even now containers, which can end up anywhere. There's a real need for consolidation in the security industry, and that's part of the answer. We've seen this both in terms of mergers and acquisitions, as well as platform plays that cover more and more ground. But the diversity of alternatives and infrastructure implementations continues to boggle the mind with more and more entry points for the attackers. This includes sophisticated supply chain attacks that make it even more difficult to understand how to secure components of a system and how secure those components actually are. The number one challenge CISOs face in today's complex world is lack of talent to address these challenges. And I'm not saying that SecOps pros are not talented, they are. There just aren't enough of them to go around. And the adversary is also talented and very creative. And there are more and more of them every day. Now, one of the very important roles that a technology vendor can play is to take mundane infrastructure security tasks off the plates of SecOff teams. Specifically, we're talking about shifting much of the heavy lifting around securing servers, storage, networking, and other infrastructure and their components onto the technology vendor via R&D and other best practices like supply chain management. And that's what we're here to talk about. Welcome to the second part in our series, a blueprint for trusted infrastructure made possible by Dell Technologies and produced by theCUBE. My name is Dave Vellante and I'm your host. Now previously, we looked at what trusted infrastructure means and the role that storage and data protection play in the equation. In this part two of the series, we explore the changing nature of technology infrastructure, how the industry generally and Dell specifically are adapting to these changes and what is being done to proactively address threats that are increasingly stressing security teams. Now today we continue the discussion and look more deeply into servers, networking and hyper-converged infrastructure to better understand the critical aspects of how one company, Dell, is securing these elements so that DevSecOps teams can focus on the myriad new attack vectors and challenges that they faced. First up is Deepak Rangaraj, Power Edge Security Product Manager at Dell Technologies. And after that, we're going to bring on Mahesh Nagarathnam, who is a consultant in the networking product management area at Dell, and finally, We'll close with Jerome West, who is the product management security lead for HCI, Hyperconverged Infrastructure and Converged Infrastructure at Dell. Thanks for joining us today. We're thrilled to have you here and hope you enjoy the program. 